Greetings. Today we're going to discuss significant figures, but not only significant figures, but calculations using significant figures. You already know the rules of significant figures, so we should not have to go over that again. So now we're going to focus on the calculations. There are basically two rules, very simple, two rules of significance of figures. When you add or subtract, you are going to round to the least number of decimal places. When you multiply and divide, or divide, you are going to round to the least number of significant figures. So, let's do some practice. Keep in mind, add or subtract, least number of decimal places. I am going to illustrate this first with a pen and pencil, so that you can see. And later on I'm going to show you with the calculator. We're going to make an addition. We're going to say 2.53 plus 1.2. We're going to add 373.73, only that is not the correct answer. The correct answer is 3.7. Why? The least accurate measurement is 1.2. So therefore, we have to round to the least accurate measurement because we cannot be more accurate that are least accurate measurement. So the easy way to do it when you're using pen and pencil is to just draw a line after the last digit of the smallest or the least accurate measurement and that's the way that you're going to round. So it'll be 3.7. Say these are grams. Okay? Alright, now what if this number is a 5? Okay? In that case, if we have 3.75 we're going to round up, as we generally do, and the answer will be 3.8 grams. The same holds true for subtraction. Exactly the same thing holds true. 2.73 uh, minus 1.5. Okay? If we do this calculation, we end up with a 3, a 2, and a 1. 1.23, again, least accurate measurement, 1.5. I'm going to draw my line right here. My answer is 1.2, whether it's grams or whatever the, the unit is. When you are using a calculator, you are going to do the same thing because your calculator will give you the wrong answer. Say we are adding 89.78. Plus 7.5 equals. Your calculator gives you 97.28. However, my least accurate measurement was to the tenths place. You must round, so therefore the measurement is going to be 97.2. I'm sorry, 97.3. All right, moving right along to the next uh, multiplying and dividing. Here we are going to round to the least number of significant figures. A little different, significant figures this time. So if I have a calculation that involves 9.31 divided by 2.7, I am going, my answer will round to two significant figures. There are two significant figures here, there are three significant figures here, therefore my answer will be to two significant figures. All right, let's try another calculation. Let's say we have 9.79 divided by 5.5. huge number there. My goodness. My least number was, had three significant digits, therefore my calculator is wrong. Calculator can't be wrong. Are you kidding me? Of course it is. 
it's wrong according to the number of significant figures. So in this case, we would have to round to 1.84, no, 1 point, oops, sorry, 1.85. That would be my correct answer. All right, one more thing that I'd like to do. What if we're operating with, what if we're working with scientific notation? All right, so say we have a number of 3.71 times 10 to the third, and we're going to divide this number by 1.1. My answer will be, I can't use my calculator here because this calculator doesn't do scientific notation, unfortunately. But just by looking at it, I know that I will have to round my answer to two significant digits. So, hold up, I'm going to get my calculator. So, I'm going to say 3.71 EE to the 23rd. 20, I'm sorry, to the third, okay, let's do 23rd, okay, divided by 1.1 equals, my answer says 3.37272727273 times 10 to the 23rd, that was a different number, I did 23rd, so now I know that that, that cannot be right, it is absolutely incorrect because my answer should be to two significant digits. The answer says, I'm going to write it up here. It says, this was 23rd, the second calculation, 3.372723 times 10 to the 23rd. But that cannot be correct because there's only two significant figures here. So therefore, I'm going to round this to 3.4 times 10 to the 23rd. And that's it. But remember, your numbers from now on when you do measurements, you're always going to have units. If not, remember what I'll say, chickens, that's it. Short little lesson, the end, and that is very significant.